so hard to know what came first in my journey, whether it was the intellectual conviction or the more emotional, spiritual attraction. At the time, I would have said it was an intellectual conversion, uh, that I had a case laid out in front of me and I saw the truth of it and I accepted it. And as someone who is passionate about the truth, I had in some sense no choice but to become a Christian once I was convinced of the truth of the faith. Uh, but now, you know, more than a decade later, when I look back on it, I also see that I was very much primed to want to make that intellectual conversion. Uh, there are things in my past where it's just very clear that I was attractive towards many of the different elements, especially of the Catholic Church, but of Christianity in general. My love, uh, my obsessive love of Lord of the Rings from a very young age, uh, this sense of attraction towards the Catholic Church, especially the priesthood and the religious, which I just had experienced when seeing it in movies and similar things. Uh, so while it felt like an intellectual conversion, uh, I would say that it was first actually more of an emotional and spiritual draw that was then completed uh, with the intellectual arguments being made and accepted. It is difficult to know how to evangelize people who have this sort of rich uh, word in their, in their mind. In some sense, I just want to explain to them uh, why Christianity in general and Catholicism in particular is true. And I think it's important to do that. Many people don't know what the church teaches and there are many obstacles that can be removed. Uh, but I think in the end, probably the best you can do uh, in, with that kind of evangelization is removing obstacles. And I think just knowing that and going into it with that humility that you are not the one who's going to convert someone, uh, God is going to have to do that work, uh, but that you can be an instrument in removing obstacles as well as showing what is attractive about the church. So I think you should do both. Uh, you should live a life and invite people into a life that is attractive. Uh, bring people to, to church, especially the ones that you find very attractive, uh, for, which can be for many different reasons. Uh, and then be prepared to have those intellectual discussions. Because at least for me, I needed both. Uh, I needed both to, to feel that I belonged in the church and that I was attracted to it. But then until I had uh, convinced myself that the church also represented the truth, I could never have become Catholic. That would just have been against going so much against the grain of who I am. So I think, I think a conversion has to have uh, both those components. One other thing that's really beautiful to me when I look back at all the different moments where I, I felt this attraction to the faith is how it really seems to be a collaboration between natural and supernatural causes. Uh, so I'm thinking at my commitment to morality and like to that there are things that are good and bad. And then I think about my parents raising me in a secular household, but still with this deep commitment to the moral, moral life. And I'm thinking about my love of Lord of the Rings and how through the imagination of Tolkien, uh, we have this amazing book that is so not overtly Catholic. And I think but still, I think, really primes the soul to long for the things that Catholicism uh, offers. And also just thinking about whenever I saw a Catholic priest in a movie and what it was about that that was pulling him in and how the, the witness of someone who has really that visibly dedicated their life to God, how that can awaken like that, the same kind of longing uh, in, in your, you or in, in this case in me. I think... Uh, for evangelization to be effective, uh, it has to go through a kind of friendship. Sometimes that friendship uh, is deep, sometimes it's more shallow, but I, I think that is where you have the most effective uh, conversions. When, first of all, that a person senses that you love them, uh, however deeply or, or shallowly, uh, but also that you know their history and that you can help them pull out of their history uh, how God is pulling them uh, into, into life with him.